This video is brought to you by Capcom. Did you know? Plans to create Monster Hunter Generations emerged while Monster Hunter 4 was still being made. The team saw that Monster Hunter's 10th anniversary was approaching, and decided to create a new game that celebrated the best of the series. This is the reason so many classic maps and monsters were brought back for generations. Because of these festive origins, the game was known as Festa during its production. With this festival theme in mind, the titles Monster Hunter Tribute and Monster Hunter Unity were considered for the game's title in the West. Monster Hunter Generations Japanese title is Monster Hunter Cross. This name came from the team's desire to see many elements from the past games cross over. The symbol cross also brought a forceful feeling with it, and conveniently represented the theme of four. Four main monsters, four main villages, and four hunting styles. The Monster Hunter team also planned on introducing a new weapon, but this would have required far more work and taken the development team's focus. Instead of a new weapon, they opted to make the hunting style system and expand the use of existing weapons. In the series' 10-year history, Capcom witnessed many different players styles from fans. This variety of play actually influenced the creation of hunting styles and hunter arts. The team wanted fans to develop their own specialized ways of hunting, and gave the freedom to do so with the new mechanics. A new addition to Generations is Prowler Mode, which allows users to play as a feline with simpler and more forgiving gameplay. This mode wasn't conceived until quite late in development. The team saw how deep Generations gameplay was becoming due to hunting styles, and wanted to make sure there was still a friendly entry point for new players. Another Another big change for the series was showcasing four flagship monsters instead of just one. Having four monsters meant that each creature could be specialized and represent a unique trait. This is contrary to other Monster Hunter games, where a single main monster needs to incorporate many different traits such as power, stamina, and speed. The first of these flagship monsters is Astalos, which is known as Ryzakes in Japan. This Japanese name is a mix of Rai, meaning lightning, and the German word for insect. Fittingly, the type of insect Astalos is inspired by is the dragonfly. Any associating with insects was dropped for the English name, however, as insects are viewed as puny and easily squished in the West. The suffix los was chosen, as astalos has several similarities with rathalos. The team considered naming the creature nitrolos, fulgalos, and astralos for the English game, which are various Greek and Latin words for thunder and lightning. The Greek word astralos was chosen, and ultimately simplified to astalos. The second flagship monster is Gamoth, whose name comes from a combination of mammoth and the Hindu deity, Ganesha. The original Japanese name is Gamauto, which is a combination of Ganesha and the genus name for Mastodon, Mammoth. Although it resembles a woolly mammoth, Gamoth's legs are designed after tortoise limbs, and its tail is based on a raccoon tail. Its design also holds some hidden inspirations. Gamoth was inspired by two elements from Greek mythology, three giants called the Hecatonchairs and the Cyclops. The main plate on the Gamoth's head represents a singular eye, as do the patterns on each of its shoulders. The three Cyclops-inspired eyes presumably represent the three giants. This Cyclops motif even carries over into the Gamoth armor and weaponry. Generation's third flagship monster is Mizusune. This creature's Japanese name is Tamamisune, which is derived from several Japanese words. This includes Bubble, Snake, a mythological fox spirit named Tamamonome, and an honorific title used in Shintoism. English translators wanted to preserve the monster's Japanese theme, but were afraid a direct translation would be hard to pronounce. They eventually settled on naming the monster after the Japanese words for water and fox. Mizusune was actually planned to appear in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd on the PSP, but it was set aside in favor of Zenogre. The team built upon this unused design and brought it back for generations. Something similar happened with the Tigrex, which was meant to appear in the very first Monster Hunter game. Originally, the team wanted to create a winged T-Rex-like monster. It was planned to have wings that weren't fully formed, unlike the series' other flying wyverns. This design later became the Tigrex. The final flagship monster is Glavinus. Glavinus was designed to function as a land-based Rathalos, and was meant to resemble a flame. The monster's Japanese name is Dino Baruto, coming from the Japanese words for Nova and Halberd, as well as Dinosaur. Localizers felt that Dino was a little too obvious, and replaced it with a subtle us suffix from Saurus. 
The rest of Gladness's name comes from the Latin words gladio and fervens, meaning sword and burning, respectively. Another new monster to the series is Malfestio, whose Japanese name is Hororohororu. This name comes from the Japanese onomatopoeia for owl sounds. It's also derived from the words chloroform and karapakuru, which is a race of miniature people from Ainu folklore. The original Japanese name was far too long and complicated to translate in any meaningful way, so an entirely new name was constructed. The name Malfestio was made from the Latin word for wicked, Maleficus, as well as Jester and Asio, which is a genus of owl. There were other interesting events while localizing the game. The Deadeye Yan Garuga was at one point going to be named the Scarface Yan Garuga. This name was changed so that no one associated the monster with the 1983 movie, Scarface. Localizers also spent three weeks improving text from past games, as the old text was made with different limitations and standards in mind. Many UI elements were redesigned and made smaller for generations, which meant a lot of Monster Hunter 4's text would no longer fit. The team experimented with UI and text adjustments to make the old text fit, but they had minimal results. Ultimately, around 5% of the text from Monster Hunter 4 had to be rewritten and shortened. One of the biggest changes to generations is the introduction of hunting styles. Most of the hunting style names are a direct translation of their Japanese names. Adept, however, was originally called Boshido, after the code of moral principles that Samurai lived by. Since the concept is unknown outside of Japan, the style was renamed Shadow Style to be more Western friendly. This name was believed to be too ninja like for the style, however, and it was ultimately changed to Adept. And if you're interested in what you've seen, click the link at the top of the description for more information on Monster Hunter Generations. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like this video, give it a like. And if you're in the mood for some more Monster Hunter Generation action, I've been playing it a bunch over on my gameplay channel, Pro Jared Plays. Be sure to check that out too. And you can subscribe over there. Just saying.